Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Cindy, we went out to the house today on Applegate and inspected the chimney for you. And I want to take a moment and go over this inspection report with you if I may. Um, let's see, open fireplace with working gas logs. We, we cleaned up the pile a little bit, got this thing lit up. Hey, by the way, there is no... Um, uh, gas shut off, which is code required, must have one within seven feet of the fireplace in the same room. And also, this gas line is not sleeved. That's going to be a leak right there, a gas leak eventually. It's rubbing up against the uh, masonry there. Must be sleeved. It's code required. It's for your safety. Plumber needs to take care of those items. Damper's working, no problem with that. Let's go into the flue system. Hey, you can see that the flue, now these are just cobwebs in here that you're looking at. But the chimney has is, is got a brick, uh, or it's kind of misaligned in here. It's a little bit of blockage. That blockage will cause uh, carbon monoxide to come back, uh, can cause a carbon monoxide to come back into the house. So my recommendation here is to use vent-free gas logs only. And the reason for that is vent-free gas logs do not produce carbon soot or carbon monoxide, and we don't have to worry about gas is leaching into the walls of the house. So let's use uh, vent-free gas logs only in this application. Let's go up on top. We can see that um, uh, the chimney uh, crown has got some cracks in it and that can be repaired. These chimney caps need to come off and be installed correctly. They're not giving any uh, room here. You have to have eight inches of clearance right there for proper draft. So if you have uh, any questions at all for me, give me a call 704 Five two six sixty three forty eight. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thank you.